Rimowa retail store opening in Japan. And I put a note on there. Why? <laughs> um, yeah, true, right? Um, I think as great as it's been, uh, it's, it's interesting, right? Um, Rimowa lately has kind of come back into ups, into kind of um, the cultural conversation or the scene conversation. Kids now want to get Rimowa. I don't think Supreme probably did as much for that as probably Ramoa did in terms of kind of steering the direction more towards collaborations. They've done obviously one with Off-White. They've done one with obviously Ambush with Yoon over there. A few others. I think they've done a Montclair one, which um, I didn't see really pick up any traction. But it looks like they're trying to appeal. They're trying to take all these kind of staple names in the industry or brands, align themselves with them and give them a bag and hoping that the customer that buys those brands will then buy into Ramoa. But I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue with Ramoa is that I don't think, by and large, the idea of uh, buying an expensive piece of luggage that's going to last you a lifetime, because they are, right? Remote luggage is like buying yourself a Rolex, right? Um, it's like buying yourself, um, I don't know, name a bag. Um, they're going to, or like a George Cox shoes, right? They're going to last you, you know, until the end of time. You can just resold, the sh- resold, resold them, you can treat the leather, and they're going to last you a really long time. But I just don't think kids, especially the hype these kids that they're kind of trying to appeal to, um, because essentially I'm assuming that's who you're gonna your target market is. I don't think they quite associate. I don't think they put any value in maybe travel. Number one, yeah, because a lot of those kids who queue up outside of Supreme and all that sort of stuff or resell stuff or the kids that are always live on the internet or leaving people comments, they don't really go anywhere. Um, for the most part, they stay where they stay. Um, they don't travel to places. If they do, you know, it's just to kind of the same old festivals and stuff. Um, they don't really explore or like they don't really do jobs that call for traveling. They they might aspire to it, but I don't necessarily think they actually hold into it in a high enough esteem, which is interesting because in the influencer space, in the space that, you know, the kind of fitness models and kind of style model girl kind of people um, occupy, they do promote this like health, wellness kind of like, you know, exploration uh, going outside your boundaries kind of approach to life. So if you saw like an Alili May doing a collaboration with Ramoa, she's most likely to she's more likely to sell them. She's more she's more likely to sell more than Yoon from Ambush. I would say, in my opinion, I just think the you know there's probably more dudes following Yoon from Ambush anyway. Um, I'd assume again, this is just from the outside looking in, and I'd say maybe a Lily May probably has more girls that are in, that are like streetwear or like fashion or they like being a creative or they want to be their own or they want to be a consultant or they want to have their own agency. So I think maybe the positioning is a bit off and they're not really aligning it probably with the right per- people. I'm again, just me talking from the outside. I don't know jack shit. I'm just kind of shooting the shit. But I just think maybe Ramo have kind of messed up in terms of who they're aligning themselves with. Um, but with that being said, they decided to open a new store in Tokyo. When did it open? It's a 544 square space. Um, da, 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 da. Obviously, they're in collaboration with Takeshi Murakama, Hiroshi Fujiwara, you and Verbal from Ambush, blah, 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 blah. Um, e- even even Hiroshi, I'm not sure how many suitcases Hiroshi can actually shift. Because again, these kids are young, innit? They've got new icons that are coming up. So you, you have to kind of align yourself with the icons that they've got. Like, as bad as bad as he as his public image might be, like a Ramoa and Ian Connor suitcase probably would sell better than um, the other ones that they've kind of mentioned. Ramoa and uh, Lily May will probably serve better. People that are actually traveling and going places like Bari, um, I don't know, Theophilus London, maybe for the most part. Like people that are actually, you know, there's the other guy who's got a creative director, um, even someone like a Benjamin Edgar from uh, the brilliant, the brilliance fame, and who does a uh, box water. I think he'd be a great collaborator for Ramoa. I think they'll do a really good job. So I think it's you have to really kind of be careful of who you align yourself with because I don't think necessarily just going for the brands that are the best, that are like kind of top rated within the streetwear or the, you know, the, the men's fashion arena is going to then equal kind of sales. I don't think you could do that. You have to kind of position it with people who actually travel, who are into exploration, who would kind of, va- who kind of will be able to sell the idea of valuing um, really expensive luggage going to last you a long time, actually really high on the list. But that being said, the store itself looks very, very beautiful as per most um, Japanese um, retail stores. I'm not sure what the, who, what the, uh, what architecture firm designed it. Um, but it looks very, very nice. It's based in Ginza. Um, it looks fucking amazing. Very, very beautiful space. Um, big fan of the overall interior design of the space. Looks fucking cool. And they've got a lot of competition remote now, right? You got that away luggage company that are doing that are doing bits. You got the other one as well. I forgot the name of. Um, there's a lot of brands coming up that are kind of occupying that middle ground. But I'm not, again, I'm not too sure if the price is the problem. I just think it's the translating of the 
you know, like why this matters and who's kind of like telling you to, who's kind of trying to tell you to buy the luggage. I don't necessarily think the lug the price of it matters. I think as seen with the Supreme stuff, right? That's sold out in minutes. Of course, most of it's because of resellers, but you know, I don't think it's necessarily the price is affecting it's more so who they're aligning themselves with. I don't necessarily think you and Ambush and all those kind of people are gonna result in sales as much as an Lily May would or other people would. Again, just my opinion. Um I don't really know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. A new retail store from Ramoa.